This is part 6 of set 6. Miss Valenzuela would like to find out how many learning experience have been mastered by her students at the end of the school year. What type of tool will she use? A. Placement B. Achievement C. Attitude and letter D. Diagnostic What's your answer? The answer is... Very good! Achievement Next number if a teacher wants to curb delinquency among teenagers, what must he be his first step? A. Diminish the activities of lawmen. Strictly enforce discipline through punishment. Reestablish the influence and authority of parents or guardians over their children. And letter D. Isolate children from friends of bad influence. And the answer is, that's good. Reestablish the influence and authority of parents or guardians over their children. And next number. Transformative values education demands a radical change, which is necessary. Number one is an act of free will. Number two is supreme self-sacrifice. And number three, promulgation of laws. Options Number one Letter A Two only B One only C One and two And letter D One, two, and three What is transformative values education? Transformative Transformative values education uh, Focuses on Environmental education Gender sensitivity, education, political education, and justice and peace education. So in that case, we need all of these. An act of free will, supreme self-sacrifice, and promulgation of laws. It's one, two, and three. Next number. School counseling's main focus is students with serious problem. Improvement of total personality Adjustment to any situation in life Enhancement of decision-making skills And the answer is... What's your answer, teacher? Yeah, that's good! Letter B, improving improvement of total personality If you check your item number 113, it's the same Next number Which of the following reflects the andragogical approach in teaching values education? Number one, reciprocity in teaching and learning. Number two is experimental methods of teaching. Number three is making use of learning for tomorrow's needs. And number four, formatting community of learners. And the answer is A, one, three, and four. B, 1 and 3 only. C, all of them. Letter D, 2 and 3. And the answer is 1, 3 and 4. So the exception is number 2, experimental methods of teaching. Okay, next number. One of the major values education approaches wherein the learners are interactive. The person and the environment are mutually co-creators. A. Values inculcation approach. B. Values inculcation approach. C. Cognitive learning development approach. And letter D. Values clarification approach. So A and B are the same, so they are already eliminated. So the answer is... Cognitive learning development approach, like the moral dilemma, the debate, as an example. <clears throat> Sorry, next number. You wish to know if there is a relationship between creativity and IQ. The best methodology to use would be A. A cross-sectional study, correlation study, or correlation research. C. A longitud longitudinal study. And letter D. The experimental method. 
and the answer is that's right correlation okay IQ correlation of IQ and creativity next number one of the major values education approaches which is premised on the concepts of humanistic and transpersonal psychology it focuses on learners own experience of life in general a values analysis approach values clarification approach action learning approach and letter d cognitive moral development approach and the answer is that's good values clarification approach very good teacher st paul one of the first christian missionaries said i planted the seed apollo watered it and god made it grow which insight can be derived from what St. Paul stated above that can serve as inspiration teachers? I think this is inspiration to teachers who feel that their teaching is going nowhere. A. Keep on teaching to the best of your ability. God will do the rest. B. Teaching is indeed a challenging career. You have to work with your colleagues to succeed. Just do your part. Your pupils are learning. You just can't see the concrete proof. And letter D, don't give up. Your students are learning only that they don't tell you. <laughs> and the answer is... Very good. Keep on teaching to the best of your ability. God will do the rest. So, sabi nga nila, do your best and God will do the rest. Number next, which of the following should a teacher applicant do? Capitalize on the weakness of his competitors. Seek the assistance of powerful and influential politicians. Use his own record and merits as reference. And letter D, apply for a position that is located in a remote place to ensure that there is no competitor. <laughs> the answer is very good use his own record and merits as a reference why does the body's education class need a democratic learning environment a to develop learners self-confidence b to derive the right values c to exclude the wrong values letter d to achieve the real dialogue about issues what's your answer teacher to exclude the wrong values is wrong. The answer is to achieve the real dialogue about issues. Next number. Which of the following methods is most effective in teaching the value of social responsibility? A. Playing in the basketball game. B. Composing a song that expresses gratitude to teachers. Organizing a program to celebrate the United Nations Day. And letter D, adapting a polluted river for a clean up as a class project. The answer is... Yeah, it's the best answer here in letter D, although this is a bit ambitious. <laughs> polluted river. Anyway, so this is the answer here. Number 138. Which incomplete sentence is most fit to use in an unfinished sentence strategy for the valuing process. A. If I were able to completely rid myself of fears, I would. B. Former President Corazon Aquino died of blank. The C is blue because blank. <laughs> Letter D. The second Catholic country in the Orient is blank. And the answer is? No, it's letter A. If I were able to completely get rid of myself and fears, I would. Blank. What method is based on a study comparing the television viewing habit of the three group of children? A. Cross-sectional. B. Experimental. C. Longitudinal. Letter D. Cross-sequential. So if you are familiar with research, uh, research methods, so these are types of research uh, methods, okay? The answer here is longitudinal. 
Next, if in a valuing process I give my students an article to read and ask them to put a plus sign beside ideas they favor and a minus or negative sign for ideas they do not favor, what valuing strategy did I use? A. Values Continuum B. Coded Papers C. Likert Scale and Letter D. Force Choice And the answer is, yep, definitely, very good Coded Papers Next number Teacher Rene gives this statement to his class and asks his pupils to circle the, the one answer that best captures their view Pupils today are motivated than pupils to 20 years ago. Strongly disagree, disagree, agree, strongly disagree. Then, uh, strongly agree. Then, teacher will count and tally how many said strongly agree, agree, etc. He will also ask students to explain the responses. Which evaluation techniques did teacher Rene used? A. Classroom Opinion Poll B. Double Entry Journal C. Self-Confidence Survey Letter D. Ethical Dilemma And the answer is... Classroom Opinion Poll Next number The accuracy and consistency with which measuring device measures what it intends to measure is Objectivity reliability validity or practicability and the answer here is what's your answer teacher very good validity is wrong it's reliability good job next what happens when a values education teacher models the different kinds of values a she projects a perfect self B. She puts oneself above others. C. She serves as a perfect model of values. Wow. And letter D. She is striving for values to be integrated as a whole, accepting our limitations. And the answer is... Very good. It's letter D. Next number. What subject seeks to develop desirable attitude and moral uprightness? A. Sports Development B. Technology Education C. Values Education And letter D. Science and Health Of course, this is our major ship. Very good teacher. Good job. Values Education Next number Respect is the first step to every good thing. To find out your pupil's awareness of the value of respect, which technique should you use? A. Obtrusive observation. This is obtrusive, not obstrusive. B. Likert scale. C. Role playing and letter D. Simulation. What's your answer, teacher? Mm -hmm. And the answer is simulation is wrong. The answer is role playing. In role playing, um, it allows students to, you know, immediately apply contents and, as they are put in the role of a decision maker who must make a decision or act or speak or behave in a certain way. So role playing. Next number. Materials on a program instruction should be up to date and should ensure the student's need for a. Personal and future experiences B. Behavior as learners C. Leadership ability and letter D. Social contacts with friends And the answer is... Right! Personal and future experiences Next number which technique is an opportunity to get in touch with oneself and so heighten one's awareness of self, uh, awareness of thinking, feeling, and doing? A. Disclosure B. Introspection C. Affirmation And letter D. Centering Oh, we mentioned this several times already. And the answer is... Very good. Introspection next number 
Mario is interested in studying whether children's reading skills, the method that is most likely to provide Mario with answers about whether educational programs can cause a change in reading skills in children would be A. Case studies B. Interviews and questionnaires C. An experiment and letter D. Naturalistic observation and the answer is Case studies Next number Daniel is interested in studying whether children's educational programming affects children's reading skills The method that is most likely to provide Mario you see this Mario and then in the first sentence Daniel is now it's Mario. I think they were not able to <laughs> to, to change the name. But anyway, this is exactly the the copy of what came out in the board exam. So I in I didn't change it so that you can see that it really happens in the actual board exam. So Mario and Daniel is the same here <laughs> in this question, okay? So Mario <laughs> Should be Mario, should be Daniel, with the method that is most likely to provide Daniel with answers about whether educational programs can cause a change in reading skills in children would be interviews and questionnaires, an experiment, naturalistic observations, and letter D, case studies. The answer is the same with the previous uh, question, where Mario is doing the same experiment, so case studies. Okay. I want to know the effect of parents' absence on their children's performance in school. What is the most reliable way to gather data? Number one, interview of the children of OFW parents. Number two, give parallel tests for the children of OFW parents and those of an OFW parents. Three, study the performance records of the children of OFWs and number four interview the children's guardians regarding children's performance A 1 3 and 4 B 1 3 and 2 3 and 4 C 1 2 3 4 and letter D 1 2 and 3 what's your answer and the answer here is of course the number one we, sh we shall interview it's not, it's correct give parallel tests for the children of OFW and non-OFW so this is also um, right correct study the performance right and number four is unnecessary so it's one two and three good job cool we're done teacher congratulations now it's time to uh, count your uh, correct answers and that brings us to the end of part six of set six and the end of these drills so go ahead count your correct answers relationship is like a test <laughs> that you love in relationship no matter how many mistakes so you still have to count the correct answers and again our conservative points should be 113 points and if you did get these points congratulations teacher you did a great job on the other hand if not so I highly suggest that you go ahead and in some other time review retake the drills and then so you can see the areas for improvement okay and then yeah retake it so that it will increase the retention rate in you and then recheck your paper until you get a 100% total success okay so review retake and recheck as long as you still have time okay and if you need some more info yeah you go ahead and visit the website teacherdoms.net and I'll be posting several articles and lectures there okay so the lectures are still being prepared so once they are done so they will be posted on the website especially on the values ed values education majorship what is the majorship okay so you can for daily motivation so kindly follow the facebook page teacher doms and 
if you have questions so you, you can directly you can send directly your message via Facebook Messenger or in this email contact at teacherdoms.net okay thank you very much teacher teachers congratulations and uh, stay safe all right and God bless you